Sup guys, it's Alex here, and welcome to the next game in the first round of the 2020 NCAA tournament being played on NCAA Basketball 10. We are in the Midwest Regional here. We will have number 5 Auburn facing off against number 12 Liberty. Let's see how good these teams are in NCAA Basketball 10. Yeah, this one should be a blowout here with Auburn. I think Liberty could actually pull off the upset if this was in real life, but we'll kind of see what happens here. In the last video, you saw St. Mary's versus Rutgers. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. But we will now have Auburn versus Liberty, Liberty in the final game of today's videos. Let's get into it. Now remember, none of these names are real. They're all computer generated. Will we, be, we will be putting in the real names once we get to the Elite Eight. But up first, we have number 5 Auburn, number 12 Liberty. Let's tip it off to see who moves on to the round of 32. Okay. Auburn's already lining him up and knocking him down. And Auburn almost gets the steal. Man, Auburn just came out swinging a three right off the bat 20 seconds into the game. I like it. Liberty's having trouble getting a shot off here. Looking down low. Trying to work in the post. Does not get it to go, but they get the offensive rebound. And it falls short. Auburn gets the board. Oh, what is that Liberty guy doing? I guess he came back and got a hand in there. Let's see if Liberty can work it down low here. Again, working in the post does not get it to go. The Liberty coach wants them to start working on some back cuts. Right now they're just going into the post and trying to work in there. But nobody's moving off the ball. And now they foul Auburn. Auburn's coach is happy. It's not Bruce Pearl. I can't remember who was the coach of Auburn back in 2009. Gets the roll on the first free throw. Misses the second, though. Let's see what Liberty can do. Will they get their first bucket of the game on this possession? Working in the post again. Still doesn't connect. Liberty just cannot get it going. We're at the three mark. Watkins the ball. Now Auburn's going in the post and they get it to go. They are putting on a clinic. Bill Raffery's putting those puppies in order. Liberty goes into the paint again and gets rejected. Simpson Liberty's coach is saying it's the bad offense. We need to draw and kick. Yes, they do. Auburn knows what to expect on every single play so far. Fired. Auburn turns around and scores again. 8-0 to zero for Auburn. Liberty has yet to score. I mean, obviously, Liberty is not nearly as good back in 2009, 2010 as they are right now. But I would have expected them to put up at least a fight. Two minutes left on the game clock. Jump shot. 
There they go. They finally get their first basket three minutes into the game. Eight to two. Auburn gets another basket down in the post, immediately taking away any momentum Liberty had off that shot. Liberty's having trouble getting organized. They pop a three, though, and they knock it down. Maybe that's what Liberty needs to be doing out there on the three-point line. Five-point game now. Maybe Liberty can do something. They would need to get a stop here, though. They're only two for seven shooting. Auburn's only missed one time. Now two times. Liberty gets the rebound. But they turn it over. Auburn's pushing the ball up the floor in transition. And alley -oop does not connect. I don't know what they were doing there. Give that guy a manual. What is he doing? Auburn's moving it around on the three-point line. Still, they haven't passed it inside. There it is. There's the inside pass for Liberty. And, of course, Liberty should know they can't make an inside basket right now against Auburn. All their shots, their, their, I guess their two made shots have come around the perimeter. One behind, one a little bit before. Auburn does not get the post move to go in, but they get the offensive rebound and put it back in. 12 to 5, will Liberty be able to get a half-court buzzer beater? Oh no, they might be able to get a normal three off. But they miss. We still don't have a half or like a halftime buzzer beater yet. I think this is like the seventh or eighth game into the tournament. But at the half. At the half, Auburn is up 12 to 5. Bit of a difference there, as you can see, field goal pursuit field goal percentage-wise. 63% to 22%. I mean, Liberty hasn't... I don't know why it says zero team fouls. I mean, they sent Auburn to the line at the beginning of the game. I guess it reset for the second half or something. Liberty needs to get some momentum here to start the second half. Let's see if they can do it. Liberty turns it over with an offensive foul on their first possession of the second half. And Auburn just lines it up and knocks it down with another three on their first shot of the half. Ten-point game now, Auburn 15, Liberty 5. Liberty hasn't scored in two minutes. We know how what happens when they go to the post. They almost turn the ball over there. I guess they do get a basket there, but that was kind of a broken play. It's a basket, though. We'll take it either way. And Auburn gets an easy one down in the paint. Looks like we have majority Auburn fans here at the Oklahoma Arena. Man, Liberty knocks it down. Starting to make some shots here. Maybe a little bit too little too late, though. They just let Auburn go on that run. They're only shooting 4 of 11 this game. Auburn shooting 70%. Passing down low again. And they get the basket to go again. 19 to 9. Auburn is probably shooting like 75% or something like that right now. They are having the game of the tournament so far. Liberty responds though with a three of their own. 19 to 12. Liberty could actually do something here. Seven point game. Let's see what happens. Three minutes to go. Auburn taking a three. And he misses, but they get the offensive rebound and put it back. Oh no, they miss. 
Misses the putback. Let's see what Liberty can do here. Can they bring it to within five or even maybe four? Turning around, working on the post move. Still doesn't connect. Oh, Liberty blocks it. That was a weird block animation. But they are going to the line. Liberty fouls them here. Players to watch are not really doing much this game. Two and three points respectively. Auburn's bringing that full court press now. Liberty, there's a guy wide open on the three-point line, but he doesn't see him. He's able to break the pressure, though, and he gets blocked by Auburn, and then the Auburn guy just snatches it out of the year. That looks like it may have been the last gas for Liberty. And they're going to the line. Foul on Tim Riggs for Liberty. Makes the first one. But misses the second. I mean, it's a 10-point game. A little bit too little too late. I wonder if they're going to be doing any late game fouling in this one. Woo! Okay. Lining it up, knocking it down. I mean, there's still a chance mathematically for Liberty to come back time-wise, but it's probably not going to happen. For three, Auburn. That's, oh no, it's a two, but that's the dagger either way. Ten-point game with a minute and a half to go. Auburn fans are rejoicing everywhere. They are getting a tournament win. Liberty just shooting a random fadeaway horrible shot. Auburn's put, pushing the ball up transition. They're trying to get another basket here. Auburn shot 9 of 14 in this game, and Liberty's starting to go ahead and foul. I will pick it up when we get to the one and ones. All right, here we go. This foul should be, or should put them in the one and one with one minute to go. One and one with one minute to go. Auburn trying to make sure they win by double digits here. Makes the first one, 25-14 Auburn. This one wasn't really even close all game. No doubt about it. 26 to 14 in favor of Auburn now. He breaks the pressure. Does not get it to go, and they are still fouling. Liberty, what are you doing? Just take the L and head home. Auburn fans are telling them to warm up the bus. Now they're subbing out everybody. They are heading to the line for some free throws. One and the bonus. Takes the pressure off. And he misses the first one. Liberty gets the rebound. Oh, gosh. What a pass. I mean, it ends up working. They call a timeout, though. I will pick it back up once we get out of it. So we are back into it. This is probably the last ditch effort for Liberty to put on, put some points on the board here. They're probably going to launch this three just in their eye. They got 21 down there working in the paint, but he shoots the three anyway and he misses. And Liberty's still fouling. Liberty, what are you doing? You're just letting Auburn extend that lead. Warm them up the bus. Makes it, though. You got 
have to be prepared when you go up against this team, Rap. Their pressure can be relentless. At Auburn getting the steal again. Liberty is pulling off the hounds, though. They are not going to foul. Auburn should just dribble out the clock at this point. 28 to 14. Auburn led the entire game in this one. Uh oh, there might be a three second violation. Oh, no, he's got out of the paint. But Auburn will be moving on to the round of 32. We will not see an upset here. 28 to 14, seven seconds to go. Congratulations to Auburn. They just shot tremendous here in the second half. And <laughs> they shot one at the end of the game just to put another stat on the stat sheet. Auburn's going to walk out of here with the W. Brian Watkins getting player of the game for Auburn. On behalf of the CBS Sports team, EA Sports crew, and Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching. So Auburn is the second team in the top half of the Midwest Regional to punch their ticket to the round of 32. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next game.